Hello, good afternoon. So welcome to another episode of Liquid Brain. So this is a part two series of how to use R Markdown for report preparation. So in particularly, we are trying to emulate uh, a CV that I actually uh, whip it up really quickly in LibreOffice. So if you have not watched part one, R Markdown is actually a language similar to LaTeX and HTML and try on, you know, it's actually try to prepare a document on how it looks like finally. So normally in R, you only do be able to, let's say you export a, a figure, export a table and so on, or CSV, but this will able to generate a nice looking report either in HTML or PDF format. So we are focusing on PDF here. So, and this is the example that I've used, which is gonna be uh, rarely simple. So, but it, it, it should connect enough elements for you to play around. So in this case, there will be a, a boat element, there'll be italic elements, there's a picture, there's a table, uh, there's a number list, there's a website, and there's a plot. So you should be able to use and all the in other elements that we've introduced in front and see if we can actually make this uh, looks good in R, basically. Okay, so if you don't already know R Markdown, just go to R Studio and open an R Markdown documents. Okay, so and you can choose PDF your output and you just click OK and you will actually, actually just create one, isn't it? So let's say this is a test file, I want a PDF and OK. So you'll be greeted by uh, this text. So there, there are two main sections. The first section is the one that is contained within uh, the, the shaded area. So the shaded area are the code that you need to run. So these are all the command that you run in R. While the, the white color here are just the notes. So these are the documentation that you want to you know, uh, generate basically. No equations here. Okay, equation only contains within the shaded area itself. Okay, so I have previous, I have already wheeled out the document, but I'm just gonna go through with you uh, what does every single thing do and how it works. Okay, so if you just type in previously from the introduction table, not introduction table, but basically this uh, creation wizard, is what we call, you should be able to get this uh, nicely in mind. We are trying to generate a PDF document, you have your name and date and so on. So the first chunk is always the, the global settings where it set all the, uh, what is that called, the, the echo to true, so that it will always include the calculations uh, code chunk basically. So everything in the shaded area, and if it's not specifically mentioned, it will be included. So that is the global options over here. While include false means I do not want to include this section particularly, but everything down below. Okay, so then here we'll try to get a new page. So this is actually just a syntax that I've not previously introduced. So this just shift everything down into a second page. So if you work in the word that is called page break. So it's very similar. So for the first one, let's you look at our file over here, this one. So the first thing that we need to do is, uh, this is a boat settings and this is a, what is that called? Um, a italic. So there's a boat and an italic and a normal, um, addresses okay so let's go to our studio so of course the first one will be the boat which is two asterisk and two asterisk and in every every sentence that when you when you end a sentence you remember to add two space up in the back so that you can break into the next line and you will not get much so same with italics just one asterisk and one asterisk and two space in the back so followed by the address two space in the back addresses two space in the back address and two space at the back. So for the graphics, I'm gonna use something a little bit different from what I previously introduced. So you can actually use graphic uh, by using uh, this one and just put a path to graphics here. So that's one way to do it. However, uh, you, have be, you have to be forced to use the global settings for your image and you're unable to change the size and so on unless you go into individual parameters. So one of the other easier way is to use something called uh, include graphics. Include graphics in NIDAR. So these are just this is just an equivalent, but it's using the R command. Does it make sense to you? So what does this able to do is that I'm able to change the output output width uh, to 150 pixels. So that will able to rescale the image nicely. So everything fits in a single page. Okay, so these are just the name of the uh, image. Make sure that it's included in your path. Otherwise, it will not work. Okay, so yeah, that basically is the image. Okay, let's go to the next part. So we've done this, done this, done the image. So next one, you will see that there's a title here, experience, education, and website. So the, these are the three big haters you want to include. So experience, education, a website skill versus time. So yeah, so these are the three, uh, four 
um, big headers that we want to include, which is why we only use a single uh, pow sign over here to include this is header one. So for the table that we want to do over here, we use the same uh, straight line, uh, sorry, straight line and dash just to make sure that it looks at a table in your code, it will actually look at a table in your final output later. So for educations, uh, we're using a number list here. So one and two is a traditional conventional number list. Just type one dot space, whatever you say, and whatever you want, and two dot list, whatever you want. So for the, for the what is that called? Integrated list, sub list, or for the sub listing, you just put one, two, three, sorry, uh, let's delete this, one, two, three, four, for, for space that will actually indicate this is a uh, indent so they will indent properly so same with 2.1 and same with 2.2 so we done the website so website is just a, a link of the URL as well as the real website directly so we can actually go here yep not a real website not a real website.com so this uh, everything within the round bracket here is the actual URL link while everything within the square bracket is the one that is displayed Okay, there's a display. This is the display text. This is the actual URL that you want to link people to. So the last one is, of course, um, a skew versus time plot. So in this case, we have four years, uh, and two zero one zero one three one six one nine, and you can see the number is a bar plot, and the initial value is zero, three, six, and nine. So of course, you can change the value wherever you want. This is just an example. Okay, so we can actually go here. So we create two elements, the x axis and the y axis. So the x axis is 2010113161919, and 19, while y is actually 0369 as per our um, explanation just now. Okay, so the data will be just trying to bind uh, x and y together. Mm. So we can actually try to run this, and you will be able to see our data is actually just uh, a table that looks like this, x and y, number of year and the number of value. And then we run into yeah, a ggplot where we just go for a G geom column. So geom column means a column chart. Yeah, column chart, so, something similar. You get a concept. Okay, so once we're done with all this thing, you the easy way, of course, just press need and you should be able to automatically calculate everything and give you a PDF over here. So of course, uh, I choose to include an, uh, a table of content. So you can actually see here there's a TOC. That means I want to include a table of content so that you know I can easily know if I miss out anything or if I want just want to see where I can throw away the first page and so on. So we can also see that uh, this is the generated one by our markdown. Let's just put side by side with the example that we have over here. So there are some slight differences um, let's say um, everything above very similar the, the the addresses and the name and the picture very similar in size so the difference in terms of the table are, are formatted slightly differently uh, the education completely failed here because I forgot to put the two space in the back same with this one two space in the back but the website it, it works it's a link and the skew versus time is fairly similar it looks a little bit different from one another based on the, the width length but small issue very easy to fix that and of course i actually put in a, a new captions over here which is not available in the original uh, cv so we need to fix the education let's go to our uh, thing here so we realize that no space so space and this one we need to put uh, space this one we can put space and put space over here so once we are done that save the file close the PDF and press need again, then you recalculate and let's see if it actually gives us the correct format. Okay, so we have table content, correct. So you can see now uh, it actually uh, listed nicely as a as a number of list. And skew versus time again it it go into the next page. Of course the um, well let's let's just every adjust a little bit more so that everything fits in the same page, shall we? So what one thing you can do of course is to decrease the number of spacing over here. So I to get our spacing you can also decrease the spacing um, here, here, maybe good one. So maybe uh, 1.5 should be fine. So now we are going into try and arrow uh, few around here. So yeah, it doesn't work because you need to do the, the thing because it, if it doesn't go into a new line, it doesn't work. And maybe the, the correct way, maybe you just scale the image down. So let's scale the image down and see if it works. So yeah, the picture is significantly smaller now. 
but we do have everything fixed in the one page. So feel free to adjust everything that you want and there's uh, something like a paragraph uh, spacing, and there are word spacing, and there's a lot more they can explore in Zara Markdown. But I hope this gives a very basic introduction for you to, for people that have not done this before, to, to go in and actually try to start something. Uh, um, so that's basically it for the second video. I thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.